Hey guys, today we're going to be taking a look at something a little bit different using the Domino's World of Warcraft add-on as a means to track your rotational cooldowns. This would be, you know, things that you use frequently in the case of the Enhancement Shaman. It's your your shocks, your Unleash Elements, your Lava Lash, your Storm Strike, things that you're pressing as part of your primary rotation that have a very short cooldown that you need to keep track of often uh, and that you don't want to keep looking down to your bars for. It's really great for melee because you can see everything that you're doing as well as your abilities you don't have to look too far as you can see everything's kind of right there in the center of the screen all my procs a couple of my cooldowns uh... things like that uh... it really makes it easy to keep track of that stuff uh, number two is there's no need to download extra add-ons uh... this is all done with dominoes uh... you don't necessarily have to get an extra add-on like i have there for uh... weak auras for my my larger cooldowns or things like that you can use this and not have to get more add-ons to take up more of your memory. You can also place it anywhere you want. Without too much more explanation, let's go ahead and get right into the video. Okay, so the first thing you're going to want to do, obviously, is download the Domino's Bars add-on. Uh, I'm going to put a link in the description of where you can get that. Uh, one thing to note is that I also have an add-on called Omni CC, which is what puts numbers uh, on the, the spiraling cooldowns of some abilities. Uh, it adds just a nice number. It makes it easier to keep track of instead of watching the spiral. Um, so once you have those two, you're going to want to get in-game in WoW, like I am here. And your dominoes may have your stuff all screwed up and buttons everywhere like mine kind of looks like right now. <coughs> um, so as soon as you get into the game, you're going to want to load up uh, DOM by typing slash D-O-M. This will bring up the configure menu. You can come here to easily rebind your keys. You hit bind keys, mouse over it, and push the number, and it'll rebind it. Um, I like to leave them, you know, account wide and just use the same bindings for all of my guys, but you can do whatever you want there. So in this menu, uh, that you can access again by typing slash D-O-M, you want to click configure bars. And this will let you move everything around, uh, not just your action bars that are here. You'll notice you have ten of them with this add-on. But you can also move things like, uh, there's a little cast bar, uh, your pet, uh, abilities will go there. Uh, special encounter buttons come on this bar here or like uh, if there's a, uh, a, a bar mechanic like energy or something like that um, so let's get all that crap out of the way all the vehicle and extra and all that stuff uh, and I'm gonna use bar 10 for the purpose of this video for my little cooldowns bar so I'm gonna set that up in the middle there I'm gonna disable most of these because my guy doesn't have that many abilities so I'm just gonna leave one and two and I'm actually gonna move them because yeah Alright, now, also while we're in here, we want to click, right click on the bar that you're going to use for your abilities, and this will bring up this little menu, and we want to bring the size down to something like 4 or 5. This size bar is the number of buttons that it has on it, basically. By default, it's 12. I like to make it 4. Uh, technically, you don't have to do this. You could leave it at 12 and put your buttons in the middle, but I bring it down to 4. makes it cleaner. I also tighten up the spacing so there's no space in between. Sometimes I leave them spaced out just to, you know, give it a little bit of visual variety. Uh, you can scale them up or down. Uh, I'll go ahead and scale them to 150% for this video. And we'll make them, um, I'll do 65% opacity. So you can kind of see through it just in case there's something you need to see under there. Okay, so let's go ahead and put some buttons on here now. Um, so as you can see, I'm on a level 5 warrior, so I don't have too many abilities. I'm going to go ahead and put my charge there. Uh, heroic Strike and Victory Rush, and we'll just leave that last one blank. Um, and the way I like to set them up is I like to put them here how they correspond to my bindings. So, for example, this is key one, two, and three on my main action bar down here. It helps my brain realize what button I'm pushing because the numbers aren't actually on here um, unless you bind them that way. So, now I'll we'll get into combat, and you'll see little cooldowns and they because they're actual official action bars they light up when you have a proc just like a regular bar would and I'll see I'll use charge my Omni CC there is putting the timers on it but this way you can easily keep track of what is going to come off of cooldown next uh, when something lights up with a proc you can see that as well it makes it really easy for a melee character to keep track of all the stuff that's going on because sometimes you get caught up in all the crap flying everywhere and the poo poo you're not supposed to stand in and all that stuff so it's just easier to be able to see it right next to your character, I find. Now, to get back to making it show or hide in combat, since we have our buttons on there, we're going to want to go here to this configuration mode again, right click on the bar to edit, 
and we're going to go to show states and I'm going to cut copy of that earlier so I'm just going to paste it in there that combat toggle and then we're also going to go to advanced and enable click through and what that does is it prevents you from accidentally being able to click on the buttons um, if you have that enabled it will also prevent you from putting uh, buttons on the bar so be aware of that but I just like to use this because you know in the heat of the moment sometimes you accidentally click stuff and that's the last thing you want to do is use the wrong abilities or be clicking on this when you're trying to target something so this will let you click through it all right, well, this has been a semi-short video teaching you how to set up dominoes to use as your main uh, cooldown tracking. Hope you guys liked it, and let me know if you have any other add-ons you want me to kind of take a look at or show you anything else add-on related in WoW. Uh, I enjoy learning how to use new add-ons because I'm constantly deleting, removing, adding new ones. Uh, I'll probably be doing another add-on video here shortly. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. You guys have a good one.